Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central. In today's video, we are out at Scott Built Factory Outlet in Waycross, Georgia. In today's video, we are going to be touring the Sacamore. The Sacamore. It is a three bedroom, two bathroom, multi-section, double wide manufactured home. And this home is 1,934 square feet. And this home is manufactured by Scott Built Homes. With that being said, let's take a tour. Again, we are at Scott Bill Factory Outlet in Waycross, Georgia. So this is a look of the outside of the home. Let's get you all a good feel here. I really love the curb appeal of this home. I really love the fact that they have like the uh, little windows up there. It gives it a lot of character. I really love the front siding as well. So this is a look at the Sacamore. Let's get you all a view of the back of the home. This is a huge house, you guys. I can't wait to show you the inside. And of course, this will be the rear elevation of your home. All right, so let's get started with the tour. If you are new here, my name is Steven. I do manufactured modular home tours, and I also do general manufactured home information videos. I invite you to join our family by subscribing to our channel. Welcome, we are very happy to have you here. Please feel free to like and drop a comment down below. Let's go inside and see what she has to offer. A very short disclaimer, I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love and enjoy touring these homes. If you have any additional questions about finding this home, pricing, or specifications, any information that I have will be down in the description box. Thank you very much. Alright, so here's your living room. A very nice living room. I'll get you all a moment to take all this in. I really love the fireplace right there. And I really love these wood floors. And I really love the cutout and the tray ceiling as well. Let me just get you all a minute to soak this in. You got plenty of space for a sectional. You could put, you could put like the full furniture package in here if you choose to do so. Of course, you have your ceiling fan, and I really love the uh, wood molding that's above the window right here. It also gives it a lot of character. Of course, you have your electric fireplace right here. And from my understanding, it actually changes colors too. And it also comes with a remote control, which is right there. So very nice, very astonishing. I love the dark trim over the uh, fireplace area as well. And you'll also have your, um, you know what, this feels just like the, hmm, I like this. I'm not sure what kind, it's not, it's not shiplap, but it's some kind of paneling, but I really, really like this. Very smooth to the touch. And of course, you'd have uh, plenty of space for a, a 65 or a 70 inch TV if you wanted to add one up there. But it's really up to you, though. All right, so another angle of the living room, and then we'll check out the rest. So this is a huge living room, guys. Very, very huge living room. All right, so let's check out the kitchen and the dining room. Okay, you also would have uh, cutouts right here. Put like uh, accessories or book recipes. At least that's what I would do. Okay, let's take a look at this. I really love this area right here. You know what? I'm not sure exactly sure what this is for. If you got, I said this in the um, Magnolia video, the farmhouse video. If you guys know what this is, let me know down in the comment section. You got cabinet space up there. Of course, you got cabinet and counter space right here. 
Get y'all a sample. I really love these um, glass inserts right here that they would have for these cabinets. That gives it a very custom look. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's take let's take a look over here. And look at this. You even got even more space. Look at that. More, much more space. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this too. It, you actually have a. This is a vegetable sink. So if you don't want to wash the vegetables in the main sink which is right behind me. You can always wash them right here and prep vegetables here. Lots of room for prepping in uh, meals. Center Island is very impressive. Let's look over here. So you have your um, sink and dishwasher over here. Of course, you know, I have to take a peek in there. Okay, and look at these big, big windows over the kitchen sink. So I can sit right here and I can wash my dishes and I can look out the window into the yard or or into the countryside or, you know, whatever you, wherever you place this helmet, you know, that's what I, that's where I would look out at. Of course, you'd have your uh, stainless steel sink right here with a gooseneck faucet. And of course, you'd have um, plug-ins on either side and you'll also have one over here too. So let's get a sample of the drawer space right here. Now you guys stick around until the end of the video. I, I am going to be giving you the price. More sample of cabinet space. You also have a, a built-in microwave right here too, so that's a very nice feature. Again, I love the cutouts right here. You got lots of cabinets, you guys. And I also like the area. You can put like your favorite seasonings or spices right here on display. This is a very, very nice kitchen. All right, so, and of course right here you have your stainless steel refrigerator too, so. And then you have space up there to put like storage things and things like that. All right, so another good look at the kitchen and then we'll go check out the other rooms. First, let's check a look at the dining room, then we'll go check out the bedrooms. All right, so this is your dining room, right adjacent to the kitchen. I really love this. Um, country style uh, chandelier. That's very nice. Again, that's my preference. And if you know, if you don't like it, you can always um, put something different up there. So you got plenty of space for a, a six seater or you can put like a 10 seater right here, whichever you choose to do. I'll probably put like a buffet hutch along the wall right there too. Another thing I noticed about this house, this house has a full drywall package, so no batten strips with this home. It has a full tape and textured walls. So, you know, it feels just like a regular house on the inside. Very nice. So let's go check out these uh, bedrooms over here. All right, so this will be the utility room. Got plenty of space in your utility room. Right here, you would have um, your central heat and air. You have your water um, heater access right there. Oh, right here, you would have, um, you could use this like for a linen closet or you can use it for a pantry. It's, wh it's whatever you want to use it for. I would more than likely use it for a pantry though. That's a nice feature. Of course, you would have your electric box. You also have a, a sink over here too, a soaker sink. Look at there, isn't that nice? You know, you can soak your linens or uh, soiled laundry, you know. Perfect, perfect place to soak your um, laundry. And of course you have a nice little cabinet right there too. Get you all a slow pan, I don't wanna make you sick. So of course you would have a, um, a a cabinet right there. You also have a space for your bleach and laundry detergent or, you know, whatever you want to put right there. And of course, you also have space for your washer and dryer. And this will also feature a water shutoff valve for the whole house. I like that. First time ever seeing that in the, in the manufacturer brand. All right. Another good look. 
then we'll go check out the other areas. All right. You know, I'm not sure if the master bedroom's on that side of the house or if it's on this side. Let's look over here. Let's go look over here first. All right, so these will be the, let's check out the guest bedrooms right here. So this guest bedroom will be adjacent to the dining room. So this will be guest bedroom number one. Plenty of space in this room. Let's get you all go over here so we get you all a better idea. Okay. Okay. Plenty of space in this room. You can definitely put like a queen size bed in here, or you know, or put a, a bunk bed or you know, twin beds. It's whatever your needs are. Let's check out the closet. Of course, this is your closet space. Get y'all a quick look right here. All right. All right, let's check out the other rooms. Okay, so this will be your second guest bedroom. All right. Get y'all look for another angle. Slow pan. It seems like this room is kind of like the almost the size of the other one, but it could be a little bit bigger. But I'm gonna definitely look at the uh, floor plan later as I'm editing the video, and I'll definitely insert room sizes. So this is your closet. Okay, plenty of space in your closet. Okay. So that's your closet, you guys. Let's look over here. Okay, so straight ahead right here. I think this would be like a linen. Okay, so this is a linen. So this house would have two linen closets. So I would definitely use this one as a linen closet. And you can use that other one that I just showed you. You can use that for a pantry. But this is definitely nice. You put your towels and your bed linens right there. And of course you have a recess light right here too, so. All right, so let's check out this guest bathroom and then we'll check out the master. It's your guest bathroom. Plenty of space in this guest bathroom. You have your mirror right there. Now it doesn't have a, a, a wood mirror, like with the wood frame around it, but you can always, um, I imagine you can order it with it if you want to. But make sure you contact this dealer for more information concerning that matter. So that's your sink. You would have a um, medicine cabinet above your commode. Nice medicine cabinet space. I like the space right there as well as right here. Let's get you all a look up here at the ceiling, get you a better idea. Go slowly here. All right. So, of course, right here, this would be your full fiberglass garden tub shower combo. I really love these garden tubs that they would have in these homes. I like the fact that you can just simply step up and get into the tub. Very nice feature. Very, very nice feature. And they would also would have a transom window up there as well. Overall, this is a very nice guest bathroom. All right, let's go check out the master bedroom and bathroom, and then we'll give you the price. But if you've made it this far in the video, and if you are new here, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell anytime I upload videos like this. That way you stay notified. And if you like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. It definitely helps out with the algorithm of this channel. And again, thank you. I really appreciate it. With that being said, let's go take a look at the master bedroom and bathroom. So this would be your master suite. It's your master bedroom. Got plenty of space in this master. OK. 
Okay, this is a nice master bedroom. Look at this. Of course, you, you have your air vents in the ceiling throughout the home. You got plenty of space for a, a nice California king size bed. You could probably put like a couple of comfortable reading chairs in here too. Now it does have carpet, but I imagine you can get the wood floors put in here if you really wanted to. But it's really up to you though. And of course that stuff right there, that's just um, extra trim out and accessories that come with the home. So once this home is delivered to its permanent location of, this, of its new homeowner, everything will be put in place. All right, so let's see what's over here. Oh, wow, I didn't see this before. Look, what is this? Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this closet. Look at this closet, you guys. Let me get you all a slow pan of this closet. Look at those um, shelves. Look at that hanging space right there. You can also put accessories up there too. So if you have lots of shoes, lots of clothes, this closet is definitely for you. Let me get y'all another view, another angle of this closet. Now I really love the shelves over there too. Get y'all another angle, then we'll check out the master bedroom, master bathroom, and then we'll give you the price. So it, this, this closet would also have a window in it. And that's an absolute plus. Absolute plus to have natural light in your um, closet in the daytime. Very nice feature. And you can definitely put you like a, um, you can definitely put you like a nice little um, a suede bench right there. At least that's what I do, like a nice suede bench. You know, so, you know, if you're putting on your shoes or something, you can sit down. So very clever, very clever indeed. All right. Now, let's check out the master bathroom. So this is your master bathroom, you guys. Look at this. Look at this right here. Isn't this gorgeous? Let me give you all a minute to take all this in. This is absolutely astonishing. Uh, they have the same uh, glass cutouts that they would have in the kitchen. I really love that feature. They bought it into the master bathroom. Look at all those drawer spaces. Look at all the space underneath the sinks. Let me open a cabinet so I get y'all a better idea. Again, I love the glass pane insert. Drawer space. Of course, your sink. They have the same countertop and backsplash that they would have in the kitchen in the guest bathroom, as well as the um, utility room. Hello. All right, so you have your, I love the fact that they have the, the trim around the mirror too. Now it's not, but it's some kind of, um, it's like a copper color, but I really like it. It's very luxurious. Okay, another good look at your sink. Lots of storage space down there. Okay. You have your um, recessed pendant lights in the ceiling. I mean, yeah, can lights in the ceiling as well so let's look over here at the garden tub look at this beautiful garden tub you guys look at this love the wing love the white wings coating this is a nice big size garden tub you know if you're looking for luxury in a manufactured home this is definitely it you guys can relax after a long stressful day at work i definitely would And again, I really love the window, the frosted window right there that they would have. All right, so let's take a look over here. This would be the area for your commode. So you have a nice space right here for your commode. And of course, you would have your window. You would have a um, recess light as well. So. But you have a lot of space over here. Look at all this space. And of course, you would have a cabinet, additional cabinet right there in your commode closet. Which I'll open up the cabinet space. Very nice. And another look. All right, let's take a look at the, the shower and then we'll check out the price. Look at this beautiful marble shower. Look at this. And I also saw this in a Magnolia model too. So really love this marble style. 
And of course you would have your shower head as well as the recess light. Oh, now look, it's got two knobs. So they don't have it out right now, but this actually comes with an extra shower wand. So that is absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. So you got two shower heads in one. And you would also would have a bench right there too. I really like that as well. Look at that. Overall, this is a very nice, um, impressive, astonishing manufactured home by Scott Build. All right, so let's go find out and see how much it costs and then we'll close out the video. It's $220,522. So everything is right there. Now, remember prices are subject to change at any time. So definitely contact this dealer for any up-to-date information about pricing or specifications for this home. They'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. All right, you guys, so it's time for me to move on to the next house. This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central, your central source for manufactured modular home tours and more. I will see you all in the next video. You all take care and have a wonderful day. Yeah.